Welcome back, guys. So tonight we are currently headed up to uh, Moultrie, Georgia, to grab some equipment I bought at the auction. But I wanted to make a stop here on the truck stop because I got to take a leak. Let's be honest. But I've been wanting to weigh this truck and trailer completely empty. So that's what we're doing now here at the Catskills. Then Ryan and I are going to get back on the road and go pick up this load. I've got five tractors, a bunch of them. I got an insane amount of stuff. This is going to be like a serious load of Tetris, planes of Tetris as a tractor. So let's see how much this thing is. There you have it, folks. This baby is heavy. <laughs> truck and trailer combines 33,320 pounds. Steer axles 1100, I'm sorry, 11,680. Drive axles are 11,880. So about a 50 50 split between the front rear of the truck. Pretty sweet there. Trailer axle uh, 9760. So obviously some of the trailer weights on the rear drive axle. So that kind of makes sense there. But we can haul around 56,680 pounds. So legally. We're not overweight permits or anything like that. So. There it is. I haven't, been able, I haven't weighed this thing since we got everything to look like the combo done. Wonder what, uh, oh, day. Look at that. We got a limited edition. <laughs> All right. Let's go get some rest and go get some tratters in the morning. Yeehaw, boys and girls. We made it back out here this morning. Weeks farm machinery. I got backed up the dock so crooked I had to straighten back up. But we've got all kinds of stuff. We got five tractors, a load and knock, a bunch of tires, some implements. We're gonna squeeze it all on here. Then we're gonna walk back there and look at that pretty banana colored heater belt back there. I uh, didn't sell it this auction. But I'm gonna get a closer look at it. Maybe we'll buy it at the next auction. Who knows?
comes. Backing it up. Won't stop. Tractors all one left to go. We got some miscellaneous attachments, but we're gonna make them all fit. <laughs> this looks good. Okay. There you have it, guys. We didn't get to show you much strapping down because we've been here for like two and a half hours. We want to get home at a decent time today. But look at all of this stuff. We've got strapped on this trailer. We got a 65 horsepower Mahender on the front. We've got a 34 horsepower Kubota. 33 horsepower Massey, 25 horsepower Kubota, and a 20 horsepower Mahindra on the back with a whole bunch of tires. You guys are probably wondering why I bought that loading ramp. If you've looked and seen some of the background of our videos, you'll see that we got rid of that old loading dock we, my dad had at the shop. And honestly, it was there before my dad even bought the place. It's been there 30, oh, shoot, probably 45, 50 years. And it was just deteriorating. So I picked up this loading ramp right here for 3,200 bucks. I mean, it's portable. Our telehandler we've got now can just go right in there with the forks, pick it up and move it. So it can be out of our way until we need it to unload trucks or use it for ramps, for videos, for all kinds of cool stuff. So um, we definitely got a serious load here and uh, we've got everything secured down. It shouldn't go anywhere. And uh, hopefully DOT don't mess with us. But let's get into that title and thumbnail you guys seen of this Peterbilt that's sitting up here that would be, make a sweet, sweet rig to restore and build up. Let's go check it out. Look at these two gems right here. It's like a 359, I'm assuming. And this old K-Whopper cab over. Look at these units. They said they didn't sell at this auction. They, they kind of gave me a rough idea of what they're trying to get out of them. So maybe we'll check them out at the next, ooh, next auction. I wonder what engines in this baby. Probably Cummins. Uh, yeah, she got a Cummins in her. What you running from? I was trying to get under the uh. show them. <laughs> Yeah, so it's got a Cummins in it. This thing looks rough. I don't need another project of this. What in the world is that down there? Look at that steering cylinder down there on the steering. It's like power assist, that big steering cylinder down there. It's crazy. Jeez. This thing spring ride. Oh, it's got old torsion bar rear end. If you guys remember from one of our older videos where I mentioned about having torsion bars spring, torsion sprung rear axles, you can see right here, where it's got these bars that literally torque kind of like on a newer independent suspension trucks for the suspension on the rear of this thing. And, oh, it's not, that was aluminum frame. It's got aluminum supports there. Look at this baby. Got an old tri-pack on it. Painted yellow. <laughs> Does have brand new tires though, but there ain't no telling how old the tires are on this thing. Got air leaf suspension. Look at this thing. This thing is a banana if I ever seen one. Yikes. Looking a little rough on the inside there. This is a pretty pretty good sized sleeper though. Oh, oh lord. This thing is rough. R-U-F-F. -F. Wow. Dash is falling up. Oh, look at that right there. Oh. I wouldn't get that close. Those are, uh... <laughs> Murder bugs. Brad has a name for them. <laughs> eh, I wonder if this hood's gonna open or if it's gonna fall. I'm afraid it might just fall off. Has it got springs on it still? Yeah, it's got springs and cables. It's got a kitty cat in it. It's got a big old mechanical injection pump on it too. I don't know what model of Caterpillar this is. It says on the windshield there that it needs head work. I like that. I wonder if they noticed that that was gone. Oh. <laughs> that would be sweet. We do need to get a new emblem or something for our truck for sure. Big old cat motor. I do like the big rubber, 11R 24.5s. Needs head work. But these cats have two individual, or no, it's got one big head, okay, and just individual valve covers. I don't know a lot about caterpillars to be honest. But what a banana. Cross M Logistics, Lewiston, Florida. Not far from us, only about an hour or so. I don't know. Y'all comment down below. This is we don't need another project, but I mean it would be cool to have and tinker with.
old banana. Call it the banana hammock. Banana boat. <laughs> banana boat. I don't know. See if we can close the hood back out. It's supposed to be for these nice folks. <clears throat> so you definitely hit something in the front. In the front end. There's that side. Now she looks like a truck. It might look better for the photos for the next auction. Literally sinking in the ground. So this row over here on Weeks Farm is their salvage row. This is like stuff that doesn't run or needs like major work. It's not like a quick you know, service up, buff it out, and sell it. This stuff needs like serious work salvage. So you just salvage it or rebuild it. I don't think this one's gonna work. Got left in the oven a little too long at the Kubota factory. Dang. Toasted. That's, that's insane, like, looking at like tractor loader valves and stuff, look at this valve assembly. <laughs> look at all the hoses that go to this thing, you imagine? That's why these things cost so much, look at that thing, that's insane. There ain't much on rebuilding this one, the only thing you do with this thing is if like you have one that got in a wreck or something. This baby got hot, H-A-W-T. Wow. Burnt to a crisp. I think I found us a new iron giant. Look at this unit. I think this one's a little bit bigger than the old Kawasaki we had. This might be a bigger wheel loader. I don't think so, but maybe. WA500. See what it says on the windshield was wrong with it. Don't say nothing. It's got a sticker on the steering wheel that says do not operate, which means don't drive her down the highway. Oh shoot. Oop, that's rubber. I wore the wrong shoes for today. I meant to grab my tennis shoes before we left last night. That is what we need for the shop. <laughs> we can just go up and grab a car or a truck. <laughs> a little spooky in here. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, would you like a large fry with that? You know, something I've always wanted to do is do the combine demo <laughs> demolition derby. You believe that? They do demolition derbies with these things. Wouldn't that be sweet? Comment down below and let me know if you guys know of any place that, and I don't know where, but I'd be totally down to buy a big old combine. I think this baby's a little big for the combine they use, but for us to go buy a combine at auction and haul it straight to the combine demolition derby. Might have to up my life insurance a little bit, but that'd be freaking sweet. Look at this burnt daddy right here. Old John Deere. These things are poopy anyways. Burnt to a crisp. Nothing left. Spray daddy. We take. We need to buy one of these things and go to the mud hole with it and just pull people out. Shoot. Be the highest dudes on the block. All right. Let's uh, start heading back to Florida. Could be a lot worse. 
advice, folks. If you're in Florida and you're not doing 80 mile an hour in hammer lane, get out of the way. Literally, flashing splines, don't want to move. Get the heck out of the way. Yes, sir. Are you talking to me? Yeah, where are you rolling to? Oh, see, I'm going back to St. Pete. Uh, okay, you based out of there? Say it again. Now, where are you based out of? Oh, uh, no, we're based out of Louisville. I'm going home. Uh, that's a long haul from here. Well, we're just north of Tampa, in a little town called Dade City, where we're at. Yeah, you going right over there into the Blind J? We'll jump off at exit 301 at a, kind of a little bit of a straight shot. There's a lot of construction between our place and at the Flying J right now. Okay, okay, gotcha. No, no, most of our trip is usually up to like Tennessee, stuff like that, grabbing equipment, but we uh keeping it short and simple this week. Hey, Bob. What motor that thing got in it? See, you ain't got no governor on it. <laughs> no, I didn't see that one. They wouldn't let me go over 85. That's it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, they said something about the tires, so uh, I usually take it off, but he said he had the, the highest he could go is 85. And then uh, Monday, after they had the cold, my brother. Yeah, when I bought this Pete, the, uh, it would only go 75 mile an hour. Like you're saying, the tire ratings, 75 mile an hour max. They removed it completely, but it still got 2,000 RPM governor, so she'll, she'll run 100 even. That's about all she's got. Yeah, she'll only go by 86, 85. Still cooking it. Well, yeah, she'll uh, torque and RPM with everything else for it. It's on the operator package. I love it, but I, I look inside some of the trucks like you guys are driving. They look way more comfortable when it comes to driver comfort in the back of that thing, just in general. I like, well, shit, I feel average, what, 6.6, 6.7, no matter if I go 75 or not. Yeah, I just rolled over the scales there, there in Moultrie, and we're uh, right at like 60,000 pounds gross right now. I'm averaging like five, five and a half to five point eight somewhere in there. Yeah, see that fuel, that's what we're winning at. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now if I slow it down to about 60, 63, I get about 10, 10.2. That's loaded? Uh -huh. That's crazy. Yeah, the best I've ever got loaded, like right around 60, 65,000 was like seven. Running like 67, 68. Let's go to uh, YouTube University. That's how we got started in the flatbed. Uh, <laughs> now I got what you're saying. He had, to, he had me fuzzed for a minute. Yeah, I, I give it to you guys. They're out here trucking for, you know, that's all you're doing for a living. It's, I talk to a lot of different people on the road and people that follow us in our videos and there's definitely some people out there struggling to figure things out and you know make money at us for sure especially uh, when it comes to the repairs and these sensors and the codes to get around stuff works perfect oh yeah yeah i've been there done that this truck had like well i got like twenty two thousand miles on it right now but about two thousand miles ago we had a dpf differential pressure sensor go by it still drove but it was it was getting to be not happy brand new truck yeah i had to replace the wire on this on this one here it was shut down when it got moisture or wet outside road trying to get it going it's always something man. is that is that a newer truck uh-huh 21. roger yeah i've had this thing like since uh April, I think, something like that, and uh, she don't get drove as much as some of these guys do, for sure. Oh, yeah. She run like a train. 
Oh, don't get me wrong, I love it. It's got 330 rear gears in it. You'll get up and go 18 speed and 600 horsepower. But I got an old cab over. You start watching the videos. That's my baby. I love that thing. It blows black smoke and gets down and makes sound. Yeah, I see that cab over. That was when I learned to drive a semi truck. You know, <laughs> that was the first big truck I had. And I got in this thing and I had to readjust to drive it in the middle of the road instead of all the way to the left side. Yeah. <laughs> That truck you got automatic? Uh-huh. I bet that's nice for stuff like this, man. Yeah, I, I bugged in the beginning, but shit, it's so easy and laid back. Like sitting in a lazy boy recliner. <laughs> Catch myself trying to grab a gear. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You ever stop off down here at the Chrome Shop before? Uh, not in a while. Yeah, we did the truck show not too long ago. That was crazy, the amount of stuff they get. All the different trucks and the amount of work those guys put into them is crazy. Oh, yeah. Sure I hate to see it. Especially in the rain, you don't want to settle no one. Yeah, especially between Gainesville and Ocala. Most no, man. This is the longest conversation I've held with somebody on the CB in a long time. I know, right? made it back after that white car almost freaking hit the side of us i don't understand like these people see a big semi truck turning you think they'd back off just a little bit so we can complete our turn and get in here but we made it back home safe shout out to the fellow that was talking to us on the cb that was awesome very rarely do we get the chance to actually carry on a good conversation uh while we're driving down the road because most of these trucks don't have cbs or they just yeah they just don't want to talk so really cool shout out to that feller told him to follow us on youtube so maybe he'll see this video and uh, yeah, we're gonna get all this stuff unloaded and start going through it and then see what the weekend has to bring. Maybe we'll find a Willet Star somewhere. If you guys don't mind, make sure you smash that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe. Like 70% of my viewers aren't subscribed, guys. So if you like what you see, subscribe so you can see what we got more other cool stuff coming. And still don't forget to get into the Get the Jump Box with JB Tools, that crazy jump box we use in the peak. Catch y'all later. Peace out.